and welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a makeup on Chloe. Um, we just used the P. Louise base. It is so good to prep and we're using the Morphe palette. Now, Chloe's got blonde hair and I just wanted to do like a glowy, beautiful, blondy kind of vibe. This will suit brown hair types, but you need to just blend out that whole lid with that orangey kind of transition color. Then underneath, or I mean over the top, not underneath, don't just, um, <laughs> you swipe that color kind of like in a diagonal just so it starts to like sweep out that lid which will create that really like big winged eye effect. Now I'm just using a, the gold tone in that palette on that inner corner just to halfway, don't go like any further with it and I'm just pressing it a little bit over the top of that darker color. Now just that lighter shade that was in the palette as well to um, lighten up that inner corner and the brow bone to give it some height. Now I'm just going over the top of this just to give it more depth and through that socket as well. Now I'm going to use that darker colour just to bring it across. You just need to touch up both sides and wiping off underneath. Now a little bit of mascara, I just like to hold Chloe's lid up just so it like is easy to get in underneath the lid, otherwise it's too hard. Now I just like to use like a gel liner to get in under that lid where the white space is and I've just used some model rock lashes. This is like the MAC strobe cream. I really just wanted Chloe to be like super glowy and just like dewy. The NARS is just like lightweight. Chloe has beautiful skin. She's super young. So I think she's like 19. So she's a baby. And under the eyes, I'm just going to use the NARS concealer. It just will block out any color and it just really lifts that area. I can't wait for you to see the end, like her posing at the end, like in like the outside light is stunning. Now I always press everything in like with a beauty blender just to really set and lock it in. Now I always use these brushes. I have to pull Chloe's hair out of the way. You should do this if you have blonde hair so it doesn't get in your hair and if like you're a makeup artist, it's definitely worthwhile to you know do that because it just will get into the hair. It's very difficult around the forehead just to not get it in such blonde hair and then blending it in so you don't have any like tide marks or any lines. Now Chloe has a really beautiful chisel face. I wonder what I was saying here. <laughs> but um, yeah, she has a chisel face, but we always contour the jawline. It just kind of really frames the face and makes it just like sleek and tied in. Okay, so with the nose contour, I like to line it first with a really thin, accurate brush and then buff it out. Now, this NARS is a liquid blush, meaning you do not set the skin with any powders or any drying kind of products. This needs to go on straight after the foundation, the contour and the concealer. Don't set before it. Now, I'm just going over the top with this powder now. Oh, sorry guys. Just one of my brides confirming that she's going ahead with her wedding. How exciting, such a tough time to um, get married. But in other news, at least she's going ahead. So yeah, just putting that highlight on there and then I'm gonna set the contour out. I love this, the MAC. My gosh, why can I not remember the name right now? <gasps> Gimme sun, that was it. Okay, now Chloe has pretty good brows, just a little bit of shaping at the top. You can see from the left to the right, you need to just give her that arch at the top and definitely brushing her brow hair, but because she's got blonde hair, you don't wanna to go too strong with the brows because it really stands out. So a powder brow is really good and I prefer that because it does give that softer look. Now, under the eye, just going through with that orangey transition color that we started with, which is a, um, just kind of softer. Now I'm just gonna use the Benefit Brow. I just like to brush her hair so it's all sitting into place and kind of brushing it up so it's not too lack of that messy kind of brow that's in them at the moment, but the hairs are stuck and solid because you can get the hairs moving like throughout the day. 
um, just in like kind of coming down. So you just want to stick those hairs up. Now I'm just putting a tiny bit of mascara. Now this is the Huda Beauty. That just kind of creates a glow all over Chloe's chest. Sorry, you can't see it much because the uh, camera cuts it out. And I just put a tiny bit of that lighter color in the inner eye. Now the LA Girl Chocolate Lip Liner is my favorite lip liner. Oh my God, Chloe looks scared in this. Why did she look like that? I wonder what was happening. Um, so, and then just a little bit of the Costa Chic lip and then the Napoleon lip gloss and she looks like a babe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Bye.